today I am going to show you how to make this spiral granny square. The materials that you'll need are four different types of yarn, colors of yarn, all in relatively the same gauge because you don't want one to be bigger and one to be smaller, a darning needle to sew in your ends, a pair of scissors to cut your yarn later on, and a 6.5 millimeter hook uh, pick the hook that best fits the yarn that you are using. I'm using a 6.5 millimeter. I should honestly be using a size 10, but <laughs> I don't have one, so here we go. We're going to start off with a slip stitch to put that on our hook. And then we are going to chain four, three, four. And now we're going to form our base ring. So the way that we put in all these stitches in the center here is that we need a ring. So I'm going to find that very first stitch I had made, the first chain, and I'm going to pull my yarn through and then pull my yarn through the loop that was on my hook. And now this doesn't look like a lot, but if you sort of stick your finger through here, you can see that I now have a hole. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to put a single crochet, a half double crochet, and two double crochets. One double crochet, two double crochet. And so that begins our very first part of the white yarn. I'm going to pull a very large loop like this, take my hook out because we're just going to leave this here for now and we'll come back to the white later. Now I'm going to pick my next color and I think I'll do blue next. So again, I'm going to make that slip stitch put that on my hook. And now this is called a freestanding single crochet because we have the slip stitch on our hook and I'm just going to single crochet right into this hole here, backing up against that last double crochet I just made. So I'm going to insert my hook into the middle of that ring, pull up a loop and make my single crochet. Now I'm going to do one half double crochet and two double crochets. One and two. Pull up a large loop. Perfect. So now we've got two of our four colors. Now this little tail here that we had from where we began, I'm just gonna leave that off to the side. We don't need to worry about that at all. But I'm gonna choose my third color. And for that I'm using this tan color. And again, we're going to do a freestanding single crochet to join this yarn to our circle. So put this through and single crochet. And now we'll do a half double crochet and two double crochets. One and two. Pull up a large loop. All right. Now we can see that we're approaching our fourth color. For that, I will be using this green. And again, same thing that we did to attach the blue and the tan, we're gonna do so and attach the green. So I'm gonna just put my single crochet there and now half double crochet and two double crochets. We've got one and two. Pull up a big loop. All right, so we have started our four colors looks pretty good so far. <laughs> you know, we got four distinct colors. We're going to come back to our white now. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to find the place where I did that first single crochet of my blue. 
And you can see that I've got one, two, three, four stitches here. I'm gonna be working in these first three. And the way we're gonna start every single color is with two double crochets. This way everything's gonna start. So I've got one double crochet in that same stitch. I'm gonna put one more double crochet right in there. Now we're only working with double crochets from here on out until we get to the end. In the next stitch, I'm gonna put one double crochet. And in the stitch after that, I'm gonna put in two double crochets. Now the reason we put in two double crochets at the beginning and two at the end is because that's where we're forming the corners of our spiral. So once I have those two double crochets in there, I'm just going to pull up a big loop and then put the blue back on my hook. So that second color, whatever you chose for your second color, get that on your hook and let's find that first single crochet of our tan. And again, two double crochets, one, two into that same stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochets into the third stitch. One and two. And now we'll pull up a big loop so we don't lose our place. All right, onto our third color. Mine is tan. So I'm gonna pull that loop tight on my hook, find where I just made that first stitch in my fourth color here two double crochets, one, two. And the next stitch, I'm putting one double crochet. And in that third stitch, I am gonna put two double crochets. So get that one and two. Pull up a big loop. All right, on to our last color here. Let's find where we did our first stitch. Now there's obviously a lot more stitches on here, right? So we had the two double crochets, one double crochet and two, and then we've got those stitches here. But just like before, two double crochets into the first stitch, one double crochet into the next, and two double crochets into that last stitch and pull up a big loop. Okay, <laughs> so my yarn's getting a little bit tangled, but great thing about this is you can just turn your project the other way and everything should become fairly untangled since we're just, we're rotating. So just rotate it the other way. Okay, back to the white yarn. Two double crochets in the first stitch one, two. Now we're going to do three double crochets, one in each of the next three stitches. So one, two, three. And we will finish again with two double crochets into that last stitch. One, two, pull up a big loop and repeat. So let's grab our next color, two double crochets, one, two, three double crochets, one in each of the next three stitches, one, two, three, and then two double crochets to finish that out into the same stitch. Okay. Moving on to our next color. We'll start off with two double crochets, one double crochet into the next three stitches, one, two, three, and then two double crochets into the next stitch. One and two, pull up a big loop. 
All right, on to our last color here. We'll do two double crochets into that first stitch. One, two, three cro double crochets. One, two, and three. And then finish this off with two double crochets into the next stitch. Pull that loop big. And we can see our square is starting to form. So I'm gonna go around one more time and then we'll finish this square off. So pick up my white again, two double crochets, one double crochet into the next five stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and then finish that off with two double crochets into that last stitch. So if you wanted to keep this pattern going, you would notice that I had, I had done three crochet, <laughs> three double crochets, then it went to five, the next row would be seven, then you would get nine, so it would keep increasing by two every time. And you can keep this pattern going on indefinitely if you wanted to, and you would just follow that pattern. So always begin with two double crochets, always end with two double crochets, and in between we're doing double crochets, one into every stitch on the in-between. So I'm just continuing with my blue here, doing my double crochet stitches. And if you ever lose track or lose count, the place where you put in your two double crochets at the end is not the place where your loop is coming from, not in this stitch, but the stitch right before. So that's where I'm putting in my two double crochets. One, two, pull up a loop. Okay, I'm just gonna untangle that. Back to my colors here. Two double crochets. I feel like you're getting sick of me repeating this pattern. <laughs> One double crochet into the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and finish off with two double crochets. One and two, pull that loop big. Let's go to our last color here. Two double crochets, one, two into the same stitch. One double crochet into the next five stitches. That's two, that's three, that's four, and that makes five. And then two double crochets into that last stitch. All right. Now let's finish off our square here. So the way that you would finish this square is by a group of stitches. Again, we will start with two double crochets. That's how we're always gonna start. That's how we're also gonna end because we gotta complete that corner. So one, two double crochets. One double crochet in the next stitch. Then one half double crochet into the next stitch. A single crochet and then a slip stitch. Cut your yarn and pull that all the way through. So let's do that again. Let's finish our next color. Again, start off with two double crochets. That gets us around the corner. Then one double crochet in the next stitch. One half double crochet in the next stitch. So you are stepping it down. One single crochet and one slip stitch. It doesn't matter how big your square gets, this is how you will always finish it at the ends. Okay, let's finish our third color here. 
Start with two double crochets, get ourselves around the corner, one double crochet in the next stitch, one half double crochet in the next stitch, one single crochet in the next, and one slip stitch in the next. We will cut our yarn and pull that through. Now, let's finish our last color. Two double crochets, one double crochet, one half double crochet, one single crochet, and one slip stitch. Cut that yarn, pull through. Now, all that's left to do is weave in our ends, and then we will have a finished square. If you know how to weave in your ends, that's it pretty much, but if not, stick around and let's weave them in together. So I'm going to thread my yarn through my hook here, and I'm going to flip to the back of my granny square. I'm gonna come through this first stitch in the back, and then I'm gonna pick up these back loops with my needle here, and then pull all the way through. And now, to get back, I'm not gonna go back exactly in the same spot, but I'm gonna sort of catch this loop, and then weave back a little ways. And that is going to secure my yarn nicely. And I'm just gonna do that for every color here. So I'm gonna take green next, thread that onto my needle, and then I'm gonna just come into the backs of these stitches here, put my needle through, pull that tight, and then back up, pull that through. And then for the ones in the middle, I basically do exactly the same thing as the ones on the end. I'll just show you how to do these real quick, how I do them. I'm just gonna thread that yarn and then I'm gonna come through a couple of the back loops of these stitches here, pull that through, and then I'm gonna go the other way and pull it through. And that secures it nicely in place. And so I'll just go through and finish those up. And then that's your, that's your spiral granny square in four colors. All right, so I just finished weaving in my ends and that is a nice looking granny square. This one I made one row extra so you can see it just gets a little bit larger and you can just keep going as as large as you want really and that's that hope you enjoyed my tutorial let me know what kind of granny square you'd like to see next bye